What's going on YouTube? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball. And when you think of John Wall, Russell Westbrook, players of that nature, what I think about is first speed, no doubt about it, I'm thinking speed. Then I think transition. I'm from North Carolina, John's from North Carolina, we both are from the same city, Raleigh, and being in front of him and understanding his speed is, is something that's, that's really, you can't really compare to. The, uh, the one thing I can compare, I will say, is Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson comes to name, I had a chance to guard Ty Lawson when he was at UNC, and I remember when I picked him up full court and he turned around and looked at me and smiled and blew right past me. And that move was a simple push cross. So today I wanna to really talk to you guys about the top three transition moves. The John Wall, shout out to Ty Lawson, Russell Westbrook, players of that nature that have really mastered in the transition and make it their bread and butter. Some you don't wanna miss. You're like, no man, let's get it. Transition, transition. Once again, if you can't pick up the man and transition, if you can't stop the ball transition, there's no way you're gonna win. And that's what John Wall and Russell Westbrook at the beginning of their careers, where they made the big, big dollars. So right now I wanna really talk about is what they did and how you can become a, a different level or different version of Russell Westbrook and John Wall. We might not have their speed, but we can learn their pace and learn the push cross. So the first move I wanna talk about is push cross. I want you to think two slow dribbles, and then right after that second dribble, cause you just dribble on your inside foot, I'm loading off my ball side foot, I'm gonna go right into a push cross. I want you to think whatever your fast is, I want you to push that ball tight right across your frame, explode one dribble and then we'll stop. So watch this here, we're going one, two, I'll load, and then be able to stop. Every time, load and push, be able to stop. So I'm dribbling on that right foot here, one, two, load and push, stop. Load and push be able to stop. It's a really good way to test what, what is my slow and what is my fast? How fast can I kick it into fourth, fifth, or sixth gear? Being able to have control of the ball. So as I'm going here, I'm pushing that ball over my feet, over my legs, because now that's giving me room to run. That's really why they're successful. They're not having moves in front of their feet where that ball has to go first. As Soon as they're push, start to push, I'm already able to run because I know I'm pushing that ball over my knee. Once you get the walk, then we can get the slow jog and really be able to, really be able to explode off of it. So remember that push cross, you're pushing across your body and what's gonna help sell your push cross is move number two is gonna be now my in and out. So now with that push cross, yes, the ball has to go down before you explode. Hopefully you sell it good enough to where I'm able to turn my frame, right? Turn my frame and sell as I'm going one direction. And now as soon as I turn, boom, I'm exploding. So wrist, frame, all turn to help sell that move. Once again, I'm already in transition. So if you can see a defender backing up slightly and he thinks you're going one direction, once he crosses that foot over, it's a wrap. What I like to think, once that defender's already backpedaling, I'm already having it at my mercy. So now it's all about, can I do a, a, a good move and then am I, am I able to explode right after that move? We'll start off with the walk again. One, two, hard in and out. We'll stop, one, two, Notice how we're selling with eyes also and being able to sell with our body. Had the same method, now I want that little light jog as I'm here. Being able to sell it. So now, obviously by that push cross, if that push cross works, but that guy might be a longer, more athletic player. You might have to change that angle again. We're gonna add that between the legs. So shout out to Ish Smith, both the same graduating class, graduated from Wake Forest. I believe he's still in the NBA doing his thing. He's probably one of the fastest players I've ever seen go between the legs. I remember back in high school, Ish would dribble down almost at full speed and go between the legs and not, and not be able to lose his stride at all. So shout out to Ish. What we wanna do now is kind of get into it here. I wanna be able to explode, load off this here. And as I'm running, boom, get into a quick between the legs. That between the legs, I gotta really make sure I'm pushing off that, once again, ball side foot. You can't do it as fast as you can, slow it down. I'll give you guys about 70, 80% of it right here. Boom, I'll push, quick change, coming down court. Once again, the game of basketball is about having a counter. So those primary moves, you wanna be able to play like the elite players. You gotta be able to be put in those elite situations, do an elite move, but have a counter to it, still be just as fast 
explode just as well, be on balance and still be able to make reads. Third move I wanna to talk to you guys about is the skip. So being able to have the ball in my right hand and off my dribble step, I'm gonna go left, left. So which meaning I'll skip, land back on that left foot. And once I land back on that left foot, it's, it's go time. First time I'm kind of gonna lift a little bit. Once I lift, hopefully my defender will also change his pace. And then now when I land again, that's when I have the ability. Now, boom, be able to explode and go. And like we talked about earlier, also being able to explode and change angles. So anytime you skip, notice as I go here, I'll get into my skip, I'll attack. Gotta be able to change angles quick. Same as I go left, add a little freestyle with it. As I'm coming down, skip, I'll go. Ooh. Be able to change directions, not only, but speed as well. Just kind of having fun with it, but really getting you going downhill, downhill. So you're always ready for that worst case scenario. like today's video make sure you like subscribe that's going to help our channel out a lot also I'm interested to hear from you guys our followers are going up our subscribers are going up I really want to see what you guys liked about the video and what you guys want to see next coach Marcus Hodges here I know man let's get it